What's up guys? Oh, I'm hating life right now. So today's Saturday. I took yesterday off Friday uh, from vlogging and I went and skated a little bit. And then last night I went out with Chris and his brother uh, and we went to a bar and I had way too much vodka. And yay, this is what I'm doing right now. I'm laying on the couch with my sunglasses on because the light hurts my eyes from this window. <laughs> and, oh, I'm out of focus. And uh, I'm finally starting to feel better now. I, I just, I went ahead and just took some pain medicine. I was like, I don't drink that often. I don't plan to drink for a while again. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the pain medicine so I feel better. And I need some food. God, I need some food. I really don't feel like getting up, but I'll show you guys. There is a pizza sitting right over there. I don't even know if you can see the pizza. There you go. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, there's a pizza over there, and uh, I really don't want to eat it. Plus, it's been out for like hours now. I didn't go to bed till probably like five in the morning. Uh, same with Gray. We were just we were both tired, and and she started the pizza in the oven last night, and I passed out on the couch. I was I was done. That was a fun night though, but it was good to take a day for vlogging. But now, as soon as I start feeling better, I'll get up off the couch and figure out what we're doing today. I'm, I'm kind of feeling better now. I, I know I just need some food in my system. Ugh. Guys, don't drink. It's not worth it. It's fun when you're doing it, and then afterwards you feel like this. You want to lay there, and you have a headache, and your body feels horrible. See, the thing is with me, and I, I think it's just because my family, we don't have a good alcohol tolerance, on my dad's side at least, and I feel freaking horrible uh, when I drink. If I feel need, if I feel bad for him, if I have a hangover, it's a bad hangover. Yay, alcohol. It's not fun. I'm eating up the pizza, and that's what it looks like. It's done. Yes. It's been sitting out for like six or seven hours because 5 a.m. and now it's like one. Hopefully it's all right. It's just cheese pizza, so I'm sure it's fine. Bread and cheese. I'll be all right. I'll survive. I just need some food in my belly. So worth it. So it's an hour later now. I'm feeling better. My hangover's pretty much gone. It's still feel a tiny little bit, uh, but now I'm gonna go skate to a barber shop. I've never actually been to a barber shop. Uh, like, where dudes cutting your hair. I've always had a, a woman cut my hair, my mom, most of the time. Um, but I'm gonna go get my hair cut and uh, trim my beard. My hair's long, I actually like the length of it, but I really wanna trim my beard. You can see how long it is. Uh, and if I trim my beard, I know I'm gonna cut my hair, cause like in a few days, I'm gonna need to cut my hair anyway. So yeah, let's go get my hair cut at a barber shop for the first time. Hopefully a dude can cut my hair good. All right, I'm gonna get my hair cut. I'm in here. Yay, Ty with a clean haircut and beard trim. Looks so much better. <laughs> I feel so much better too. I get, when you get a haircut, it's like, all right, it puts you in a good mood. It, it's hard, or unless you have a bad haircut, I guess. But if you have a good haircut, it always puts me in a good mood at least. That's the first guy that cut my hair. He wasn't, it wasn't like a normal barber shop like I was expecting though. It was like a, a woman and man barber shop. It was pretty much like a hair salon, um, but they just called it a barber shop. But it was nice. Uh, he did a good job on it. He just trimmed it up a little bit. Uh, I could have got it cut a little bit more, which I probably should have since I was paying to get it cut, because uh, I'm gonna need to get it cut again soon. But I like it like this because it's still pretty much the same thing, just a little bit trimmed up. So it, it's kind of just shaped up and exactly how it was. I like it. Beard's looking nice too. Still got it. And, you know, it's trimmed up. <laughs> All right, back to the house, figure out what we're doing. Check it out, I'm looking a little bit different now. I took a shower and beforehand, like my beard, I was like, yeah, it could be a little bit shorter. And I went ahead with my razors and trimmed it up. I didn't think I could do a good job if I, cause like my razor, uh, I can trim it, it'll be like a buzz cut kind of where there's just a little bit of stubble, um, but it's a little too short. So what I did just kind of barely graze it and just trimmed up uh, what he left along. Uh, so I fixed it up a little bit, but other than that, it looks good. Yay! So we're at the Galleria now. We're uh, at the same place we came the other day where we ate Buffalo Wild Wings, stuff like that. Uh, we came here a few times. We're gonna meet up with Darren, Chris, and Ryan, Chris's brother. Um, and we're gonna get some food and go see the movie Lucy. Uh, that should be pretty good. You excited? Grace having to call her bank because her bank's being stupid. That's fun. I have spotted them. There they are in the wild. The wild Galleria. Hi. I don't even know if I was getting a shot. What's up? Nice to meet you. Ty. What has happened? Is this the dude that does the insanity thing? <laughs> kind of looks like him. It looks like an aerobics class. <laughs> oh, she said put some squank. Okay. <laughs> Can you pump it up? Five, six, come on. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
Alright, so we got our movie tickets, now we're gonna decide what to eat. I'm thinking Quiznos sub. A drink? I'm not doing that again. Quiznos? Quiznos? Let's go. So we had our subs, ate our food, and we realized it's National Dance Day because they said it on the thing. We got to dance, it's National Dance Day. Now we're getting ice cream, yay! Oh, I know you're excited. Blueberries, Ben and Jenny's. Well, you know, I shouldn't get an ice cream. Let's split. Let's do that. Let's split an ice cream. I can't eat a whole ice cream. I'm I never selfish with my ice cream. I can eat it all and then more. One of the orig, the original vanilla, vanilla cone. I mean, get a little cone too. They actually had those. I was like, I'm not getting a gigantic one because when you get those, they put so much freaking ice cream. It's too much. It's too I much love rainbow sprinkles. This guy's great. Hates us. Look at that. Oh my god, that's not Hey guys, Gray's gonna recreate the chocolate banana video. <laughs> get it six and a half million views again. Would you do it for if if you knew it would get six and a half million, would you put another banana in your mouth and make it look dirty? I get to eat a chocolate covered banana. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you guys are wondering why I brought you here. <laughs> So the, the, final, the final version of the movie is completely different. Ty is taking a picture of himself with his baby picture in front of the boyhood thing. So one of him on the yeah. toilet. <laughs> that was brilliant. Wait, can you like tap it? Hold on. Aww. That's the one of him on the toilet, of course, with his big <laughs> fat belly. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good for that for him. It's funny because, do you not want your picture posted on there? Because you what? Um, she was saying if you don't no, want your picture posted. I was going to say, you vlog. I posted that online anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Got a free popcorn. So basically it was just sort of a prostitute. I just showed myself naked for something for free. In return for something. That's not new. <laughs> it's a fine of you sitting on the toilet. No, I'm saying I just, I just basically, like, did prostitution in a way, <laughs> or porn, I guess. It was a baby porn. porn. Oh my god. <laughs> so we're ready to go in the movie now. And uh, I meant to, or I forgot to mention earlier. This is gonna be uh, Dolby Atmos. Is that what it's called? Atmos. Dolby Atmos. It's like really good audio, apparently. So we'll see how it sounds. Or like every time we do our vlogs and we go watch a movie, everybody has to give it one through ten rating. Like ten being the best, one being the worst. And you get out. So be ready to give your one through ten rating. Thank you for your number. Sounds good. And then we'll, we'll review the uh, Dolby Atmos. Like to see if that's worth it. It's like two or three extra bucks or something. I get all the speakers all the way down the, the walls. Right. And then they're even uh, on the ceiling. What's the Dolby Atmos? It's like supposed to be really, really good sound. Alright, so this guy the movie. I'll give it a six and a half out of ten. It wasn't that great. There's a lot of stupid parts, I think. Or, it, I don't think they did a good job. Of, I'm not gonna like ruin it or spoil it or anything, but the way she was, what was happening to her, I think they could have did a better job of displaying that and like showing it to the viewer. Because it was kind of just her staring off into space. I don't know if anybody else felt that way. Yeah, I'd say from like a logical and continuity standpoint, I'd give that movie like a point one. <laughs> was, illogical as all hell, like none of that made any damn sense. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, it had Scarlett Johansson and Morgan Freeman <laughs> in the same film though, so I'll give it like a five. It wasn't a bad movie. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was, it was, it was entertaining. It was fun. Yeah. It was a lot of it's, it's, a it's a difficult topic to make a good movie. No. Yeah. They didn't do the worst job. Yeah. It was, it was fun. Give it a, a one through ten rating. Um, six. Six. I'll say the concept was great. Yeah, I like the idea. The story of it. kind of poorly executed. I give it a five out of ten at most. Enjoyed it. What? You give it a one through ten. Seven. 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 
How about you? Six, 6.57. Not really. 6.57. Yeah, yeah, it was alright. The sound was great. Yeah, the sound was amazing. <laughs> I like Atomos. I'm, I'm, I'm all movie? I'm not still like no. I'm be watching more Atomos films. That's for the sure. movie wasn't bad. I don't think you should really go see it in theaters, I guess, unless you want to see it for that sound. One more thing I wanted to add is like, I was really confused through a lot of the movie. Like, I didn't really understand what was happening. Like, they were trying to show it, and I kind of, I mean, I could get an idea of what was happening, but the, I don't know. It's like, completely off traveling. My goal for this time next week is to be able to every single day have the same like proper posture as Scarlett Johansson. Oh. That is like insane. She's just always like. Yeah, she is always like this. Like, really great. She could have been hotter in this movie. She didn't show enough uh, cleavage, right? She could have been hotter in this movie. Yeah. She didn't. She didn't. She didn't show enough. Oh my god. She <laughs> fell. And now for some shopping and Rite Aid. <laughs> I don't know, four more days in LA. When this vlog goes up, I think we'll have like two or three days. We can come back though. We can come back anytime we want. Oh, I'm coming back. I want to eventually move here. This is what I'm talking about. Rite Aid has freaking oatmeal raisin cookies. I showed you guys this uh, in the last house we were in. I want to remind you guys again, oatmeal raisin cookies in the sale aisle, not near the normal cookies. I don't know, I don't know if this is everywhere, but we get them for a dollar and 20% discount, 80 cents for a whole pack of oatmeal raisins. Another chocolate chip, oatmeal raisin. Oh yeah. One, two, and... Should we have, we should not have that many cookies. Two is good, two is good. Yay, we got groceries. We have food. Woo woo, and water. Yay. I'm excited. Actually, I'm excited we have food. Look at this, this dude has uh, Svetika. Mango, pineapple, vodka. I really wanted to drink this. It, it smells so good. So good. I was literally just talking this morning about how I don't want to drink. If it wasn't alcohol, I would be drinking it right now. Ooh, a mango pineapple smoothie from McDonald's. It's been so freaking long. Good job, Greg. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna do. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now we are going to Griffith uh, Observatory. We're walking and we're with Candace. That's who you've seen in the cabin a minute ago. Say your YouTube channel. Hunan Penguin. <laughs> I'll put a link down below. Uh, so we're gonna, oh, we weren't planning really to go hiking. We didn't really know what we were doing. But the cab driver had to drop us off because this road right here is like blocked off. So now we gotta walk a mile to the observatory. <clears throat> but we plan on probably going hiking. Some kind of hike. Yay, look, views. <laughs> There's the city. <laughs> We've seen this like four times now. <laughs> Yay! There it is, Griffith Observatory. And we'll look out over here. There's the Hollywood sign. See that? So we're gonna go in here and check it out, see what's in here, and then figure out where we're hiking to. But that's it. I think there's telescopes in here. Uh, so maybe later tonight we'll come back here and we'll look through the telescopes and we'll see some stars and planets. Okay. This is actually a secret mission we're on. I'm here to save the Earth from a meteor. I'm gonna observe it in the sky today. Okay. What is this? Oh, pendulums. You can see it move. It moves when the Earth moves. What if it just started shaking like really crazily? Just went everywhere. It started binging off the walls. I was like, I just get out of here. You're getting hypnotized. <laughs> Look at the ceiling art, guys. Look at all that. Illuminati, Illuminati. We have free water in our book bag. <laughs> we heard ice cream, ice cream downstairs. Let's go. What is this stuff? It looks expensive. <laughs> no, it does. It looks like costume jewelry. Yeah. Some of it looks expensive. <laughs> Man, these are all diamonds. They're shirt <laughs> All these, why are there moon earrings? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this stuff? Let me put some moon earrings on display. This is found from space. No, kidding. Yes, these were all the things they found on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> so, I weigh like 150 to 60 on Earth. Let's see how much I weigh on Saturn. Press any button to begin. Wait, oh. the same thing. Wait, I weigh less, so it's like... It's just saying you're really, really fat. I weigh the same thing on Saturn, okay. Oh, wait. I think I gained weight. <laughs> Three hundred pounds. <laughs> three hundred over three hundred pounds. Damn. That's not gonna. This is, this is weightless. It floats anything. on Saturn. 
and see how big he is. Oh my god. <laughs> 350. That's me. Imagine uh, 100 or 150 pounds standing on Uranus. <laughs> oh, you're so clever. <laughs> so clever. So on Pluto and beyond, I weigh like two pounds or something like that. Like, this is at like five or ten. That's like probably like five, ten Let pounds. Let me see. I want to see how fat my body is. Same thing. <laughs> this guy's. It's moon. <laughs> It's a piece of the moon, I think, right? I mean, it could be. That's from out in space. But it could it's be crazier. fake. Yeah, it could be fake. It could be. That's that. cool. It's the moon, guys. It's up there. I think it's real. That's just a rock from the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, boobies. I found boobies. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look, guys, it's the, uh... Shut up. Shut up. It's a periodic table, but they actually have all the elements in them. Larry, right, let's find gold. Let's find the gold one and steal it. All these rocks. Potassium, rubidium, celsium, fun stuff. Yeah, they're missing in a lot of these. I didn't even notice that. I can't find them. They're fake. I believe it. You guys want to know what the sun looks like? That's it. It's the white ball. What if we just seen it explode? <laughs> That'd be horrible. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think that's actually uh, from one of the telescopes in here because it looks like it moved a little bit more. I like that. I want that as a background on my phone. Looks so cool. Think about it. They're like capturing all this data and stuff and just keeping it forever. Like they've been constantly doing this for a long time. We're outside. Look at that. Look at the view. Look at that. LA. Let's go around. Look at the telescopey thing. It's hard to see because if I move it at all, like there's like a black thing that's in front of it. Wait, there's one undressing. I'm kidding. <laughs> I thought Gray would be like, what? I was gonna say that if I looked through it. <laughs> like, I am like looking at people's houses right now. Check it out, this is a Galileo's telescope. I don't know if that's actually his or not, but that's what it says. It extends the eye. It's crazy, like ancient telescopes and stuff. They, they were smart enough to do that. Look at that big telescope. Yeah, There's a the telescope map. in here. Where, how do we get there? I want to look at it. Uh, we're going to figure the, that out because that looks like... It's supposed to be over there. Like, that's the model of it. It's like a gigantic telescope. Let's see it. They've got this heat camera right here. Great. Go fart in front of it. Go fart. <laughs> do it. Are you sure it's a heat camera? I'm going to test it. Okay. <laughs> These are glasses. Oh, it's blue. What? That's crazy. <laughs> Alright, now... It's blue. <laughs> no, you have to get, like, here. <laughs> I look creepy. Oh, Gray's, weird! His legs are weird in, like, spots. It's so cool how it goes green to the top of it. What? What? Oh, at the exact spot? Yeah. I'm 90. I'm not 92. I would be. Wait, wait what is that? 98? 73 degrees? <laughs> how cold the water is. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What is this? <laughs> There's a hole in the earth. That's the mountain. I think there's like a camera or something pointing on the mountain and it's coming from there. Oh, yes. That's like a mirror up there. It's reflecting and it's like spinning around. I think. It's a video of the mountain. I don't know what this does, but it's a Tesla coil. I know the Tesla dude is like supposed to be really smart. He is an inventor. That's cool. He's really smart, the Tesla dude. I thought it was a car company for a long time, but it, he's actually an inventor. Go press the button. You do it. Show sure it. You go press the button. I feel like you're not supposed to. <laughs> but why would it be there? I think that's what you're supposed to do. Should I do it? Do it. Oh, okay, it has to be turned on. <laughs> this is what it does. It sends out electric shocks. I've seen it before. I don't know what that is. But yeah, you need the key to turn it on. Telescope entrance. Admission free. Sponsored by Toyota. <laughs> There's the telescope. It's pointed at nothing right now. And that's where it looks out at. What about I can Got in their picture. 
Huh? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna walk up to this peak up here. The Hollywood signs over here. We wanted to walk to that, but the woman said it's a little too late for that. We waited till late. It'll be right. We'll walk to this we peak. Do we don't want to get eaten by mountain lions. Thank you. <laughs> yep, that would be fun. Or coyotes, or whatever else is out there. Bears? Are there bears out here? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> rapists. <laughs> that too. We're gonna be eaten by rapist. I think that'd be cannibal. Not rapist. You know. <laughs> Cannibal rapist, <laughs> even worse. Ty is setting a grand example for the youngins. I cannot get down that way, that's for sure. Yeah, we have to go that way. Come on, girl. You can do this. See, I told you we could do that. It's not that bad. Right? That wasn't that crazy. <laughs> now what? You gotta shake. Alright, now we go up this way or this way? This way, all fours like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I need to do this. Yeah, Grace's trying to do some flip flops. <laughs> we could go that path over there, too. I'll help you up here. I'll be okay. I'll help you up, Greg. You can do this. I actually feel like I probably could do it barefoot better. Look at the helicopter. Helicopter. Don't worry, it's just a lot of loose rock. It's all right. <laughs> Get it, Greg. I think we're we're getting there. We skipped a lot of the walk uh, rather than going down the trail because we walked up that thing. <laughs> There's like a path here, a path here, a path here. I'm gonna like ward off rattlesnakes. <laughs> nope. Hi. <laughs> this is where the mountain lions hide. All in here. <laughs> this is, a lot of the dirt's loose on top, so it's slippery. Look how far we already are from the observatory. Yay, we have to walk back. <laughs> you got this? Doing it in flip flops? Oh my god, it's slipping. There's another view of the Hollywood sign. The sun setting behind it back there. You can actually see Wisdom Tree. Like an outline of it, see it? Little tree yeah, right there? That's pretty. That's it, that's and so there's the Hollywood sign. That's cool to see it from this side. Guys, we got a pet hummingbird. See him? He keeps following us. Just like me. It's like he's just floating in the air. It's so, it's so weird. He what? just dropped. He just yeah. fell. <laughs> he fell. He just screwed. You died. Look at the palm trees. Like those are so from here. Those just grew naturally, right? We're almost at the top. It's right up, right up there. Should we just finish this so we can say we did it? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever this thing is. What is that? A water is it for oil or something? Maybe? Power. Water power, perhaps. I don't uh, know. There's solar panels on it. Look at that. Look at those views. All the mountains. It's getting dark. It's getting dark. We are pretty high up now, and it's like the land turned into a desert landscape. Ooh, I'm worried about your nose. nose what? Oh, because we're so high up yeah. in the dry air. Mm -hmm. I do get nosebleeds and stuff like this. I had a random nosebleed the other day. It was really weird. That's my story. <laughs> All right, we can have a picnic now. Who brought food? Did you bring food? Yeah, guys! <laughs> Yay! We kind of missed the sunset, but this is nice. Alright! I see you, Hollywood. That's Hollywood down there, right? <laughs> like, I like how you can see the, that road. It just goes straight down. We're making our way down. <laughs> it's just powder. It's fine. <laughs> If anything, we just go sliding down. <laughs> Gray's got her shoes off. <laughs> it's super deep. <laughs> All the like Can you dust. Take your shoes, please? Let me see them. There's no reason for me to have these on anymore. They're just gonna make me hurt. Ooh, guys, Gray's got dirty feet. Look Ooh. at the flip flop mark. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. It hurts, but it feels better with. Yay! Them. We made it down. There's a little trail again. We're gonna walk back to the observatory. And figure out where we're going from there. Bright lights in my face. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> we're not even on the hills anymore. We're still tripping. 
All right, now we're gonna look in this telescope. Wow. That's what I'm gonna be saying. Look at this. Oh, whoa, wow. go. Go. He sits. That's for the kids. What is he looking at? In the Saturn? Oh, what? It looks fake. <laughs> Seriously, that's so weird. It just looks like a little picture in the end of it. <laughs> Ryan? Wow, that's crazy. That's really weird. I didn't expect for it to look like that and actually be able to see the rings and stuff. That was actually cool. Yeah, I've never seen a, a planet like a, a telescope. You could see the freaking rings and everything. That's so weird. What? It's just like up there in the sky up there. Look, guys, coyotes. They're up there. They're behind this tree. I'm walking up to them. I'm not scared. They're little. I'm not scared of those little things. Yeah, there's only two of them. I mean, there could be a pack like hiding somewhere. Look at that. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see them before we scare them all. Look at them. They got bushy tails. Wait, are those are they foxes? Look at them. Uh, they're like little doggies. Come here, doggy. <laughs> I'm surprised they're letting us get so close. Come here. We got food. Come here. <laughs> I want to try to give them food. I have a one of those O bars. Why? Oh, they're so cute. I'd take one home as a pet. And that could have a friend, as long as it doesn't have rabies. It's gonna run. Or attack you. You're a single person. We're gonna watch Tack it eat. <laughs> oh. They're scared. They're sleeping over here on the ground now. They just got up <laughs> and he like stretched. He wasn't even that worried. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna have to run from this guy. I got my time though, I'm gonna take my time. I'm not gonna hurt you guys. Don't worry. I just wanna get a good shot of you guys. I'm pretty close to him. I know it doesn't look like him on the camera probably, but it's pretty close. It's the closest I ever been to a, co a coyote. Look at that. Oh, look at him. You can see him better now. Hi coyotes. It's weird that they're sleeping here in the light. Like, they were laying right there in the middle of the light. So weird. Seems like they'd be hiding. There's a whole pack of them. They're, they're up there now. I don't think this is the same ones either. Look at them. These two here on the left are playing. They're rolling around. I can hold the camera really still. <laughs> oh my god, we're walking down the hill and there's like multiple coyotes right here. What? That's a couple. Oh, well, there's a coyote right here. Yes. Where's the coyote? Oh yeah, the coyote's right here. I don't think that couple. One, I don't think that couple knew. There's like a couple laying there. The coyote just walked right by them. <laughs> We're at Crave, the hipster cafe. We fit in so well here. I know, but it is pretty. It's not hipster, it's just a bunch of middle schoolers. Yep. Don't put that in It's folder. good though. It's good. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the vlog, click the like button down below, subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's a link down below, youtube.com slash time -offs. We post videos Monday through Friday, uh, so expect new videos then. And uh, subscribe over there. Click to see the last vlog right there, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace!